Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, this video I've had actually planned for about a month, but because one of the packages didn't arrive for about three weeks, I've been having to put it off. As the title suggests, I'm going to do a mystery box battle. So what that means is I bought a mystery box from two separate companies. As always, they don't know that I'm buying it for the purpose of a video, so there's no chance of them inflating what's in, uh, which clearly hasn't been the case from the previous videos because they've been total garbage. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open them at the same time and we can compare and contrast and see which is the best, or should I say, which is the least worst shirt inside the boxes. Both of the boxes are priced at the same um, value. So they were purchased at 34 99 each, which isn't necessarily one of the cheaper ones. So if everything was legitimate, I should expect to get at least something decent from both of these packages. But we know fully well that that's not how things work, and I'm probably going to end up with something pretty disappointing. Anyway, I'm still doing this with the hope that I may end up actually get something I need. So maybe we'll get, might like, get lucky this time and <laughs> we might actually get something decent. Anyway, these are the two boxes. I'm going to jump into it and let's see what we get. Okay, moment of truth. I'm going to first start with the one that I bought from a company called Surprise Shirts Limited. They uh, shipped it quite quickly and it's arrived um, very promptly, certainly compared to the other company. So we're going to give them the, uh, I don't know if it's an advantage of going first or not. Let's have a look and see what we get. Box certainly looks to be very similar to the first mystery box that we opened. Hopefully the contents is not similar. Come on. Here we go. Oh, we have a little bit of a branding this time. Tiny sticker. So I can't remember if I placed any um, specific uh, restrictions on what I did I did not want. But of course, what we're looking for for me personally is brand new tags, sponsors, non-English, medium, which it should be because you obviously have to select the size. I wonder what we're going to get today. Remember that this was purchased for $34.99. You can get a pretty decent shirt if you were to buy it knowingly for $34.99. So we're kind of hoping for something at least semi-decent. Okay then, what we got here then? Thank you. We'd love to if you post a picture of your shirt on any social media. Well, let's see what we get first. Okay, then. We have a little thing. And it says, um, if we can read it, Boko Unidos, away shirt 2019-2020. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, um, I'm not a, I don't know who they are. So that's kind of a good thing, I think. Uh, Club Atletico Boca Unidos is a football shirt, uh, well, club I mean, from Corrientes in North Eastern Argentina. The club was founded in 1927 and played a 17,500 capacity Stadio Leonicio Benitez. The side currently compete in the third tier of Argentinian football, the Torneo Federal A. The team is no, known as Ariroyo, <laughs> which means the Redheads, as Red has always featured importantly in their kits. This away shirt was worn by when Boca Unidos struggled in Zone A with the team in 11th place out of 15 teams when the COVID-19 pandemic forced the season to finish early. Thanks for ordering and enjoy. Well, seems sem somewhat pr promising so far. Undo this. Now we get a little... Uh, Little star mix, Haribo. Okay, so we have tags. We have a sponsor. Hmm, this actually looks pretty decent, at least for me. I mean, I have no idea how much the shirt's worth, but 
I might actually be able to have some use for this. So we'll put that aside. Wow. Get rid of this guy briefly. So it's uh, manufactured by somebody called Re Retiel or Retiel. That shirt, this shirt is actually really nice. Like I said, I have no idea how much this is worth, but I'm in shock. This is, this is a really nice shirt. Wow. I've actually, am I actually going to have something I'm, I would actually buy normally? There's the back. More sponsors in the bottom. Wow, I'm even more surprised because I I don't never expect to get a good shirt. Hmm. Now, regardless of what the price is, and you people who are more familiar with South American teams or or Argentinian teams, at least they might be able to say, "Oh no, you can buy this for fifteen pounds." But I'm pretty happy with that. Wow. I think they're in a good place to be a uh, to be a uh, champion. Okay then, that's good. We'll put that over here. Right then, I've got a bit of Haribo as well. Very good. Well, it's up to you now, mystery uh, mystery shirts box. Uh, should I say mystery soccer box? So I bought this one at the same time as the other one, but it got lost in the post apparently. Um, Though when they reshipped it, the original one magically appeared in their um, uh, where they located. I don't know what happened, but the customer service was very good, so I, I, I will give them that. But they are going to be in a bad place to figure out if they can beat this one. So I'm really happy with that other shirt. Come on. Now this box is quite small, certainly in comparative to uh, other ones we've had. A bit more professional branding maybe you'd say, printed on the front. This is very well compactly uh, put together, but come on. What is going to be in here? I need to invest myself in some sort of knife because these scissors are worse than useless. Come on. Come on. There we go. Almost there. Right. Done. Professional job. Here we go. No, it's not. Another business card. Okay, so this one's wrapped in um, sort of tissue paper. We'll pull out this first. Ha ha ha. So we have a Stade Renoir. Stade Renoir Football Club, commonly known as Stade Renoir FC. In fact, no, they just literally pulled this. Uh, that, that's, that's a Wikipedia job, that isn't it? Uh, I mean, we don't need to speak about who they are. We know who they are. They play in the uh, in the top division. Um, okay, cool. Let's have a look. So apparently, it is the uh, the current home shirt. Hmm. Right then. So. They have tags. Uh, oh, it has a tag. Hmm. Now, this season, if this is a legitimate shirt, that's pretty decent as well because I wouldn't have thought these would be on that much of a sale just quite yet. Huh. I mean, the shirt design is beautiful. This is one of the, my favorite designs that was released uh, this season. 
Uh, I already have a, a Stephen A shirt, but this one is probably better if this is legitimate. Wow, I, have I got two legitimately good shirts? What's happened here, guys? Um, I'm slightly skeptical that this is legit because it just seems too good to be true, right? I'll have to look at the tags and sort of do some sort of comparisons online and just see if anything looks a bit weird. But if we're just taking it at face value that this is a legitimate shirt, I think we can't be that disappointed, can we? Wow. Um, is it anything that gives it away on a tag? You have that. Does it say anything like it might be like covering up something weird? Not really. Well, um, I don't really know what to say, guys. I went into this obviously expecting it to be total trash, and I ended up with some pretty decent shirts. I will leave this for now, this part. I will get back to you when uh, I've done a bit of research. We'll determine if this shirt is is legitimate, uh, and I'll research the other shirt, because I don't really know anything about that tea and the manufacturer or anything. And we'll see uh, how much the shirt's worth, and see which which one um or if any we would try again but to be honest uh, i'm pretty pleased with how this has gone so far uh yeah i'll uh, i'll get back to you guys right here then so it's been a few days uh, and i've been doing a bit of research on these two shirts uh we'll start with the Boca unidas the argentinian team and it seems like that is pretty legit uh, it's quite difficult to determine that for certainty, because there isn't much information on the on uh, online about this T-shirt. Plus, I'm not too familiar with the manufacturer, so I can't really look out for anything that I know should be present. Uh, I found a couple of retailers that sell this shirt. So one of them is obviously an Argentinian place, uh, though they don't ship outside of Argentina. So I'm not sure that they would have been used. I think a converted price was about £23 UK, uh, which to be honest is probably about right for a mystery box shirt. I did find an eBay listing which had uh, this shirt, and I think that was about £65, which seems way too much. I don't understand why they would put that level of shirt in a mystery box. So I have no idea where they would have got the shirt from. Uh, it's anybody's guess. So if anybody who's watching has seen this shirt before and knows we can get it at a decent price, let me know and I can at least um, suggest that as a possible uh, source. Um, I'm very happy with the shirt. Looking at it, I've uploaded the website. I think it's really cool. Done a bit of research on the manufacturer. They seem to do quite a few different shirts and the designs are sort of a similar nature. So that's pretty cool. The Ren shirt, that was the one I was a bit more skeptical about, wasn't it? With it being uh, the current season, I felt like there was a chance that it was going to be a replica, a fake. So I did all the usual stuff. I searched the tags inside the tags, like the codes. I typed those into Google. It brought up that shirt. I looked at the other tags. Again, brought up the shirt, the um, <coughs> QR can uh, scanner, straight to the Puna website. I did like a, a forensic analysis of the uh, material. Seems pretty legit to me. Uh, I compared it to images online, though there's not many people that seem to have this shirt in their collection and showing it uh, photographed. Um, so if anybody just does have this shirt, let me know, because I want to compare and contrast just to be sure. It looked pretty legit. I spoke to a few people who offered their opinion, and it seems like they're in agreement that it is a legitimate shirt which is pretty um, lucky, I guess, or fortunate. In the UK, I can't find it anywhere for sale for less than 45 pounds, or at least at the time of this video, which again suggests when I bought the box for 34.99, that it's more valuable than the box, which doesn't really make any sense. Especially when you consider that I don't message these people, they don't know who I am, not that I'm of any relevance anyway, but there's no way for them to know that I'm going to be videoing it for any purpose so that they know that they can inflate the 
uh, inside and then people want to buy them. So I either got really lucky, they sent the wrong box out and it should have gone to away days. Or, uh, yeah, it's uh, a really good fake, but I just don't think it is. So those are my two shirts. If you have any opinions or any suggestions that I can check or any thoughts, you know where to put them. I'm open to any uh, anything, really. This shirt, I mean, this, web, this uh, video was designed to be a battle, so I want you guys to let me know which shirt is the best, which box was the best, which was the most value for money. I was expecting, well, I was expecting both to be pretty rubbish, to be honest, but I think, for me personally, I'm happy with both of these. It'd be very difficult for me to do... Uh, so I've separate them. You've got the really cool, unique, obscure Argentinian shirt with the weird uh, design, or you have the sort of the, the more contemporary, stylistical um, French Ren shirt, which is a bit more valuable. I can't separate them. Let me know what you think is uh, the best. Uh, and that's it, really. I know that these um, mystery box videos seem to do quite well. So if anybody's watching and they've not subscribed, um, I'm more than happy for you to join us on the journey to, well, I suppose the main goal is 1,000 football shirts, but I suppose I'm also looking to get to 1,000 subscribers also. Uh, and also a big thanks to anybody who has joined recently, because I know the Classic Football Shirts one garnered a few extra subscribers as well, and a few interesting comments, but, you know, part and parcel of the game, I guess. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. A little bit more positive and a bit more upbeat than the previous ones. I'm obviously going to buy some more now because quite clearly anything is possible. Uh, I just need to figure out where I'm going to buy the next mystery box or mystery boxes from. Until then, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.